Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As you have started a state pro tutorial series for beginner to advanced level, and in this lecture, I am going to discuss about and also I'll show you that how I'll draw a water tank, I mean rectangular water tank, and then how we'll analysis and design that. So let's start. And if you are new here, you can watch the previous video. The link are given in description. So let's start. First of all, I will open Start Pro. Now, click here, New Project, then a Space, give the name. water tank rectangle and our unit will be foot and our force unit will be kilo pound then go next and from here add beam so so by using that grid uh, I have using I have used that grid several times. So if you're new here, you can watch the previous video. The link I given in description where I have shown you that how will use that grid. So uh, suppose I will take total height of the water tank will be 20 feet, and we'll take six feet, uh, six feet height of or five feet, uh, six or 5 feet height of the water tank and another part will be the support of it and for that we need total 20 feet grid so for that we will click here edit and from here we will give here in y direction we will give here 20 so you are seeing that and the every square box are showing 1 square feet here the spacing as 1 and in x direction we'll give it suppose 15 sorry 15 then press ok ok it's done now from we'll start from 0 so i'll click here that point is 0 then i'll go till uh suppose here uh, let's take we'll go until 14 feet so click here and for water tank we'll take consider the above 6 feet now the height is 6 feet and we'll consider our water tank will be suppose 15 feet width again go in that line 40 sorry 50 here maybe it's 40 here uh, let's check me yes then I can go down 15 so by clicking here snap note or beam will click here and you may found it on here so our total length of the water tank is 15 feet now we'll draw here a beam add beam here okay now we'll use that beam cursor we'll select wall beam and we'll go for transitional mode so transitional repeat and in x direction we'll extend that sorry in z, z direction positive z direction <coughs> and as it was 15 feet we'll take in x direction as z direction it's suppose a 12 feet okay and a steps 1 is done and link a steps 
will link that steps so press ok so here we're seeing that here is our tank and we'll delete both by pressing ctrl we'll select that and press delete then yes so we have done that now click here and we'll give her and select that node cursor as uh, if you're f uh, following my lecture I think it will be very simple for you because um, that every step I have done many times but if you're new here I will recommend you that if you have time you can watch the previous video so that you can clear your basic okay after that I have copied that after after that I'll get, go here support page will give her fixed support create fixed click her fixed then assign close so if we go in 3d mode so here we're seeing that it's in 3d mode and the support are given here now we'll do something <coughs> sorry here here you are seeing that uh, there have one two three four and the bottom the five plate will be available here and the top will be free for first time so we have to draw the side so by clicking here generate surface meshing meshing generate surface meshing click here and go here like that click here click here click here click here and also click here then click here quadril meshing ok and we'll as uh, the side of the water tank will be construct in one time that means our plate will be only one plate so click one again one and one and one then apply so if we go here sort uh, here plate cursor and you're seeing that they have a plate like that we'll go for our other plate click here click here click here click here click here quadril ok 1 1 1 1 then apply then again for that side click here click here quadril meshing press ok 1 1 one one then apply then for that set okay have one 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 and one apply now we'll create the bottom plate click here click here and in go here then quadrantal meshing double click one double click one 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 then apply so it's done now if we go here here is our plate here is our plate here is our plate here is our plate and here is our bottom plate so we have done our plate now we'll go for to uh, define materials properties here now no click here and I'll go here the property page and from here first of all I'll go thickness so I will use plate element thickness 
I'll consider 0 0.5 I mean 6 since I'll consider 6 inch thickness of that slab then add okay close then I'll go for define our beam and column section I'll consider that our beam section will be or DI 18 inch uh, the height will be suppose 15 inch and it will be 10 then add and our column will be 15 into 15 so add now we'll assign plate thickness so select here plate thickness then go here plate cursor and select all plate from here after that go assign to selected plate click here and assign yes so you're seeing that the five plate have been assigned after that click here and uh, select sorry double click here so I've done a mistake here not a uh, 15 feet or 10 feet it would be 10 inch so 15 uh, inch means 1.25 and 10 means 0.833 you can calculate that change after that double click here 1.25 1.25 then change close so you're seeing that here 15 into 15 15 into 10 now we'll select that for our beam 15 into 10 select that and from here select beams parallel to X and select beams parallel to Z so we have selected all our beams now assign to selected beam here and then assign yes after that click here and select that for our column and go here select beams parallel to Y so we're seeing that all columns have been selected then click here assign to selected beam then assign yes then close so we have assigned all of materials if you go in 3d mode so you can see that it's nicely created that is our here is our auto tank rectangular auto tank so finally uh, we have draw our auto tank I mean according to our requirement we have draw that so you know next video I'll show you that how will assign load here and how to design for them so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video